bringing health information warmly and enjoyably. Welcome back to the Pill Muse channel. I'm a pharmacist who loves helping you make smarter choices about your health and medication. And today we're talking about a summer mystery. Why do some people get eaten alive by mosquitoes while others walk away bite-free? Number 1. Why Mosquitoes Bite in the First Place First, let's clear something up. Not all mosquitoes bite. Only female mosquitoes bite and they do it because they need the protein and iron from blood to produce their eggs. But for regular energy they actually feed on plant nectar just like bees. Number 2. The Main Factors That Attract Mosquitoes Carbon Dioxide CO2 Mosquitoes can detect CO2 from up to 50 meters away. The more you exhale, the more attractive you are. This is why pregnant women and people with higher metabolisms often get bitten more. Body Heat and Sweat Mosquitoes are drawn to warm bodies and certain sweat chemicals like lactic acid and ammonia. People who sweat more or have a higher body temperature are often more attractive. Body Odor and Skin Microbiome the bacteria living on your skin produce unique volatile compounds that can make you more or less appealing. Studies suggest that higher diversity in skin bacteria can reduce attractiveness. Blood type. Some studies have found that people with type O blood are bitten twice as often as those with type A. This might be because type O secretors produce more attractive surface chemicals. Number 3. Why some people seem immune. Genetics. Your genetic makeup influences CO2 output, body odor, and skin microbiome, making you naturally less appealing. Natural repellents. Some people's sweat naturally contains compounds like octanol that repel mosquitoes. The lifestyle and diet. Certain foods or supplements, garlic, B vitamins, have been rumored to reduce attractiveness, though the evidence is mixed. Number 4 Practical Tips to Reduce Your Attractiveness If you want to avoid becoming a mosquito buffet, here's what you can do. Use insect repellents. DEG Ben's 100% Deep Tick and Insect Repellent offers long-lasting protection and is great for camping and hiking. Picaridin e.g. Sawyer Products 20% Picaridin Insect Repellent A great deed alternative with a lighter scent and non-greasy feel. Oil of Lemon Eucalyptus, OLE, e.g., Murphy's Naturals Lemon Eucalyptus Oil Insect Repellent. A natural option but with slightly shorter protection time. By the way, the repellent brands I'm mentioning here aren't sponsors. Just examples of what you can find at most stores. No ads, just practical advice. Wear light colored clothing. Mosquitoes are more attracted to dark colors like black, navy, or red. Lighter shades like white, light blue, green, beige, or khaki are better options. Reduce fragrance use. Avoid floral perfumes and scented lotions, which can mimic the smell of nectar. Stay cool and dry. Avoid heavy exercise or alcohol in mosquito-heavy areas, as these can raise your skin temperature and increase CO2 output. Remember, mosquitoes are more than just annoying. They can carry serious diseases like malaria, dengue fever, and West Nile virus. Protect yourself by using repellents, reducing your exposure, and choosing the right clothing. If you have questions about safe repellents or preventative meds for travel, ask your pharmacist. Thanks for watching all the way through. Stay healthy, stay informed, and I'll be back soon with more pharmacist approved tips and imagery made just for you. You can explore alternate visual versions of this content over on my Patreon. Check the pinned comment for the link. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. It really helps me keep creating high-quality content that supports your health.